Good morning, everyone. Brian here with BMK Retro Gaming. This morning, I have a review for you guys of the Atari VCS, uh, excuse me, Atari 7800 original library game, Asteroids. Now, I did review the Atari VCS 2600 port uh, some time back. So, uh, this is kind of just uh, following on. Anyway, um, the arcade cabinet original was de developed by Lyle Rains and Ed Log as the original, the main developers on it for Atari, and was released in 1979. Then in uh, 1984, with the Atari 7800's original library launch lineup, um, Asteroids was part of it, but... As we all know, with the sale of Atari to the Jack Tramiel, well, things got put on hold for a couple of years, so it wasn't re-released again until 1986. Um, with the Atari 7800's relaunch. Which was not so bad, but... They really could have got a leg up on Nintendo, maybe, and even Sega if they had... Uh, if things had been worked out and the 7800 had already been going for a year or two by then. <laughs> anyway, um, it's a pretty good game. Not a whole lot different from the Atari VCS 2600 port in some ways. I think as you guys will see, um, it is a bit better graphically looking, and um, that's nice, though I know some people could give a flip less about graphics, myself included, but it's kind of nice to have a somewhat nicer looking game. Anyway, I have my loose copy right here. I got it at, well, what's that, a uh, little bit of a, uh, these Dagum silver labels always want to have that glare. Here we go. It's Atari 7800. Oh, well, you guys can see, 1987. Well, I know it was 86, but... Go figure out why they always had the year wrong on these things. It's a pretty nice looking, except for being total black and white, it is a pretty nice looking uh, cartridge art on the label, so not bad at all. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and get this into my Atari 7800. And get us set up, and we're going to take a look at some gameplay. Okay, here we go. I'm going to set it up for uh, one player, novice. Believe me, it's tough enough even just on novice settings. And here we go. Use your joystick to move and maneuver. And you can press forward to uh, on it to thrust, and your uh, button to shoot. You can also pull back on the joystick to uh, <coughs> warp. Uh, of course, not, not as often as not, it results in nothing good. That was not so great, so I'm going to go ahead and reset us. Go. Again, like I was saying earlier, you have much improved uh, graphic qual graphical qualities. Also, there are two two-player modes. One is um, a team cooperative two-player mode, and one is competitive. And those are both pretty nice, but I don't have a second player, so we're not going to get into that. Darn. As with most games of Asteroid, your best bet is to stay dead in the center and just keep firing. Of 
course, to me, the uh, asteroids kind of look like they might as well be miniature uh, war plants or plant hoods or something. They are pretty sp spherical. Maybe something more like, uh, you could say, meteors, meteorites, meteoroids, uh, comets, whatever, but I'm not sure if an actual asteroid would look quite like this. Probably not. It's still a nice depiction regardless. Screw you. Try that again. You also earn, uh, earn an extra life every 10,000 points, so I haven't quite broken 10,000 myself yet. Hey, I love these games, and I love doing my YouTube channel here, but at the same time, I never said I was quite that good at all of them, so... Wait, I should have saw that coming. Okay, one more shot and we're done. Oh, I think not. One thing that can get annoying is you don't always have exactly precise aim. Okay, and I think you guys get the idea with the gameplay by now anyway, so. Okay, so that was Asteroids, uh, an original library game for the Atari 7800. 
it's a pretty good game in general. I like it. Though as I was saying during the gameplay, I'm not necessarily good at it. But you can't be perfect at them all. If you guys can pick up a copy, or by chance emulate it, though I'm not aware of any Atari 7800 emulators personally, I would say give it a shot. Now, uh, my preferred YouTubers, Phil with his channel, The No Square Gamer, Willie with his channel, Arcade USA, O'Baron Gaming, not sure if this is the second or third thing I've shared from them before, or the first, The Flat Earth Video Gamer, Retro Comparisons, they have a nice comparison contrast video on this one, and then I have at least three new, one, new ones for you guys, which is... Uh, Retro Hawk, the original 80s gamer, and Sirius Atari, all of whom uh, I'm recently subscribed to and haven't had a chance to um, recommend and share any links for yet, so hopefully you guys will enjoy checking out their videos on this. Anyway, they all have nice videos, that's about eight of them, so you guys should have plenty of Atari 7800's Asteroids videos to keep you preoccupied if you really want them, so... I'll leave links to all of those, and also a link to the Wikipedia article, just in case you guys care to check that out and read up further on the game. And, um, well, if you guys enjoy my channel's content, please like, share, and subscribe. And, um, well, you guys take care, have a good morning, and I will see you again in my next video.